Hello folks, welcome to another episode of the NSMQ Review Show. We are still looking at the balloting exercise that took place across the entire country. Today, we are focusing our lens on Greater Accra Region, Western Region, as well as Western North Region. My name is Emmanuel Jivenu, and we are coming to you from the Primetime Studios here in Ashali Botre in Accra. My guest is already in studio, but before I introduce him, I want to say a very big thank you to the thousands of NSMQ fans out there. And big thank you also goes to the Ghana Education Service, our lead sponsor, for the support they've been given to this competition over the years. At the 13th Gongo Awards, we were able to sweep four awards. We had gold in integrated campaign, silver for experiential marketing, media innovation as well as branded PR. We couldn't have done this without your support and we say thank you very much and we hope that this year the support will be just like it has been over the years. In studio I have Samuel Ajo and he is with Primetime Limited, organizers of the National Science and Mass Quiz and he'll be taking me through or taking us through the balloting we had at these three regions, Greater Accra, Western and Western North. Sir, you're welcome to the thank show. You. Let me start, let's start off with Western Region. Western Region, we had quite a number of uh, fixtures over here, a total of six. Can we go through them one after the other? The first contest we have, Familiar Face Archbishop yes. Porter, Porter Girls. Girls uh, Shama Senior High, Secondary College, Yuraman Senior High, and then Dabwasi Senior High Technical School. Well, this is going to be a very interesting contest, considering the fact that Pelta girls um, were seeded and, and then we, they lost at the uh, um, one eight stage. And so it means that they have to come to the regional to compete with the schools who unfortunately weren't, weren't able to make it. Shama, um, from, from past experience, we believe that they are going to put a, a very good show because looking at the score they attained at the regionals last year, they lost to Tadi School. Mm -hmm. by just four points. Tadisco won by 39 points and they, they clinched 35 points. And so you can expect that it's going to be a very tough contest, especially also when we have secondary college, another old old entrant in the, uh, the program. So Absolutely. with the three schools, you can uh, you can expect a very exciting contest. Juraman, yes, um, they'll do their best, but I'm sure they'll not be able to go beyond the regionals. The Wasi won their contest at the regionals um, last year. I don't expect them to be able to beat any of the three schools, but so it's going to be between Porter Girls, Shama, and then Sigurdin College. But you know, Archbishop Porter Girls have over the years proved the points that uh, they deserve to always be at the national. Unfortunately, last year, they, s they slept and yeah. went back home. Their best was, was, wasn't enough. So, Do you think they would have worked by now, they would have worked their, 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 their mistakes out to come back to the, re the national? Certainly. Certainly. I want to believe that they've, they've done a lot of preparations for to get themselves back um, at the national championship, therefore, to be seeded as well, because they see them also as a st one of the stars in mm. the region. Mm. Um, when you take um, 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 aside um, GSTS, and that is, Porta girls also see themselves as a star in, in, in the region. So, therefore, they would want to ensure that they, they go through the regionals and make it to the national championship and then get seeded. But I can, like I'm saying, I expect that Shama and the Security College are going to put up some fierce fights in which um, Porta girls would have to. We really see that. Otherwise, um, they will stay in the wilderness. Can, can we look at the second fixture? We have five schools over there. Yes, we have in Crawford Agri Senior High, Huni Valley Senior High, Takwa Senior High, Anoji, and then Asen Krugwa Senior High. I mean, with this contest, I obviously pick in Crawford Agri, who have been consistent um, with, their, with um, the qualifying for the national championship. Mm. The Takwa would be able to put up some fights, but I don't expect them to be able to beat um, um, Crawford Agri. And Senkrugwa, Asen Krugwa, well, um, they, they try, but um, it is not enough. But uh, you can never tell, as, we are, as, we've, as we've been saying, that um, this competition is now full of surprises. You can never use, you, you might think that somebody is not preparing, uh, was not prepared very well, therefore okay. you have, um, uh, um, you'll be able to make it over him or her. But then I don't think it works that way presently. Absolutely. Science and Masters, for me, I always tell me that Absolutely. if you, if you underrate someone, I'm sure you will you will laugh at the wrong side of your mouth. And so for this contest, I obviously think that Nkofor Agri would definitely sell through. And I'm sure those schools, I mean, they have nothing to lose even if they, they, lose, the competi they lose the contest. So they are going all out. So in Crawford Greg must really, really watch out for the other schools they are competing with. Certainly. I mean, especially uh, Takwa Sinahai, who 
um, who has been part of the national champions over the years. Absolutely. Um, they are, it's just that they are not consistent as compared to the other, like in Kofra Greek. And so, um, if if they underestimate them, I'm sure there'll be some uh, surprise there. Let's look at the contest f sh uh, schedule for February 11, and we have another six schools here. Yeah. How come those ones are five and those ones six? Well, it has to do with the balloting. Mm. Maximum um, for the com competition it's six schools, and then uh, minimum is three schools. So based on the number of schools and based on the slots available, that determines with the number of schools that enters a particular contest. That's okay. why we have six schools um, in one particular contest, but we have four in others. So it all has to do with the balloting. So that's why we have it like that. Oh, okay. This way. Okay. So can we look at fixture three, which is scheduled to happen on February 11? We have six schools over there. What do you make of the competition here? Well, um, contest three would would be a very interesting one. Um, aside contest one, because we have Fijai Senior High School, we have Eziama Senior High School, and Science Senior High School, who, who have um, had uh, that experience of being part of the national championship over the years. Mm -hmm. And so you can expect a very tough contest as among these three schools. Methodist Senior High School, yes, they, they try. In the last contest, that was uh, 2019, the performance wasn't too, weren't too good. I mean, mm -hmm. they scored, I think, nine points or so, which wasn't too good. Fijai won their contest. Um, Ziyama and Ensign both lost their contest by placing second. Fijai had 27 by winning, and then Ziyama, um, Ziyama made 24, and um, Ensign had 25. Mm. And it was a very close contest in, 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 uh, during uh, that, uh, that, that, that period, uh, that year. And so I expect that Fijai is not going to have it easy, even because they won their contest last year. Mm. I don't expect them to have a walkover, more or less. Yeah. But I expect them to have a very tough fight from, uh, to expect a very tough fight from Ziyama and then uh, in Zion. In Zion, I've had that, that lot of experience. They have more experience mm -hmm. as compared to Fijai in the contest. So I expect that it's going to be a very tough one between Ziyama, sorry, Fijai and then uh, in Zion. But I consider or I see Ziyama as an outsider who mm -hmm. can swing a surprise. For the other three, I'm sure they'll try their best, but um, all we can expect is a surprise from them. But okay. it's going to be a fight between Fijai Ziyama and an insign. Do you expect the same contest to be at the... Contest 4? Yes, Contest 4. St. Mary's boys also have that experience with the national championship. Axim as well, Fiasiman, uh, Bedu Bonsu. I mean, Fiasiman haven't made it. But then for this contest, I pick uh, St. Saint, Saint Mary's boys and then Fiasiman, I mean, to be to, to to fight it out. I take the other Zim girls, Bedu Bonsu, and Amin Fiman out because I don't expect them to offer a stiff opposition mm -hmm. to these two schools. I believe that it will be Fiazeman who qualified for last, uh, 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 for last, uh, last year's championship, national championship, and then St. Mary's boys also, as well. So the fight is going to be between Fiazeman, senior high, and then St. Mary's boys. I mean, contest 5-2 also promises to be exciting. We have a Hantaman Girls Senior High School. Which school is this? That's Mpoho Senior, Mpoho High, Senior school. High School. St. Augustine Senior High School. Not St. Augustine's College. Yes. St. Augustine Senior High School. And then half a Sini Senior High School. And then Adiambra Senior High School. A Hantaman was a Hantaman Girls Senior High School was at the national level exactly. last year. But unfortunately they got kicked out at the preliminary Prelims. stage yeah. of the competition. That's why they are back at the um, regionals. Yes. Are we seeing them likely to appear again at the nationals? Um, I can't confi confidently say that we can. Act we should be. We should be seeing them. Mm. Rather, I would expect half a senior who have made inroads um, when they made it to the national championship in the past to to um, come up because they've been quite. Uh, they've slacked somehow over the mm. over the year or two now. But I expect that by now they would have done their homework. They have gone to the drawing board to put all the necessary uh, things in, in, in place and therefore come up with a good a good fight. So for me, I see, I see more of um, half a Sini instead mm -hmm. of a Hunter Mangas. But I mean, they have that confidence that the Hunter Mangas they have that confidence. So one can expect that they could spring a surprise over the uh, over a half a Sini. And, and finally, in the Western region, we have uh, one that will be happening on February 11, the contest six, and we have six schools here as well. Yes, we have. Uthman bin, Uthman bin Afan, Afan Islamic, Islamic SHS, Bozokaku Senior High School, Asankrugwa Senior High Technical School, Prestia Senior High Technical School, 
they are Benin Senior High Technical School. So most, most of these schools yeah. have been contesting, but unfortunately, they've not be, been able exactly. to make it at the nationals. Yes. And then we have Bumper Senior High School, who they have been at the national championship. Mm. Uh, Osman Binafan made it for the first time last year um, um, when they won their contest by 33 points. Mm. And then the then Bonzokaku also made it. Um, no, Bonzokaku were, weren't able to make it, but they had in their contest against um, Fijai. They gave Fijai a very tough fight, so, and, and to the extent that Fijai had to win just by a point. It was a very tense contest. I mean, that uh, had to go to the wire. So I expect it is difficult to really predict predict who is going to win. Bompe, you could see that because of their experience, might. Or might be able to make make it make it through, but then I don't know what Osman Benafan can offer. Mm. I don't know what he can offer, and I don't know what Bonzokaku is going to bring on board this time. And so it's going to be an open fight so for all the all the six schools. In so there. in this particular uh, contest, you think that uh, the strength is evenly distributed. Definitely, over here. definitely. But definitely. certainly, one of them would qualify. qualify for yes. the preliminaries yes. and they won eight. So in the Western region, we have six competitions, yes. separate competitions. Yes. And the winners of this competitions would make it to, to, the, national to the national championship. So somewhere we have Western North region as well. Uh, we would have two separate contests happening in this region. Uh, the first one would happen on the February 10, and it features... So we also senior high school Sefri Bekwai Senior High School, Nana Bruntu Senior High School, Bia Senior High Technical School, Bodhi Senior High School, and then Drabosu Senior High School. The first two schools look like siblings. Yes, they are from the same area, the Sefri area. So for the schools in this particular contest, I, I see it as a, a match of equals, mm. like I, I indicated earlier on. And so for Sefri also, yes, they have been with the national championship in the past, but they have not been consistent and therefore I'm not expecting anything um, um, from them. So it, it's, it's, open, it's an open fight to all the six schools. And I want to believe that who, the one who has prepared well would obviously uh, win. Because in their last, last year, some of, some of the schools, the contest that they featured, in, they didn't show good marks mm. or those good points. And so you cannot pinpoint exactly a particular school that you think would win. Absolutely. So like, like I said, it's, it's going to be a match of equals. Well, the, the, be the best school would obviously win the contest. Absolutely. And the final contest, which schools do we have over there, and how do you see that panning out? So in the second contest for Western North, we have um, six schools featuring as well as the first one. We have Asawinso Senior High School, Bebiani Senior High Technical School, Sefriwi also Senior High Technical School, Zerura Senior High School, Dariasu Senior High School, and Akontumbra Senior High School. Once again, I consider this contest as a match of equals. Mm. Um, Bibiani, in the 2019 regionals, we were able to come up with a very good score. Even though they were not able to qualify, they made 24 points. So mm. perhaps they can build on this and win this contest. But then it's obviously going to be a match of equals Absolutely. for this particular contest. Absolutely. So in total, for the Western and Western North regions, we are looking at eight schools qualifying to the nationals. Exactly. Already we have three schools which what? schools are those? The, the, the three schools are seeded. Yes. The seeded schools. In fact, in total, they have 11 slots. Three schools are seeded. So what is left for us to comp for the region to compete for, the two regions to compete for, the eight slots that are, that are, that are left? And we have the three schools who are seeded are GSTS, St. John's, and then Takradi Senior High School. Mm -hmm. Okay. So eight schools. We are yes. looking at eight schools from... Western region and, and Western, Western North. North region. Away from the Western and Western North region, let's look at the Greater Accra region, which is regarded as one of the powerhouse when it comes to the National Science and Mass Quiz. And we have eight fixtures over here. Mind blowing, St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High School is back to the regionals. It's been a long time since they came here. What happened last year? Well, um, they should be able to tell their own story. <laughs> <laughs> they should be able to tell their own story. Um, they got they got beaten, and that that that's, that that's what happened. <laughs> but um, uh, looking at this contest um, featuring St Thomas Aquinas, Presec Osu, Accra High School, Presec Tema, Christian Methodist Senior High School. Mm. Obviously, I mean your choice will be St Thomas Aquinas Senior High School. Absolutely. I remember during the balloting, um, when we uh, when we were conducting the balloting, we had schools who had picked and Aquinas had picked contest one, and um, up to the 
<clears throat> a certain point, none of the schools had picked um, the contest one. And so when it got to other people's turn, then they started rooting for you to pick contest one. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for those, or fortunately for Prisek Kusu, Accra High School, Prisek Thema and Christian, they, they were able to pick St. Thomas Aquinas. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give it to Aquinas. But it looks like this is a done deal for St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, definitely. No, remember, no question about that. Remember, they, they, they are former champions of the National Science sure. and Maths Quiz. But, I mean, we can't write away these schools because they know the pedigree of St. Thomas Aquinas. They may want to capitalize on their weaknesses last year and beat them to it. Well, it, 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 is, it is not impossible. But judging from the scores, the um, Presec Osu, for instance, made at uh, last year's region 21 points. Accra High School made uh, 27 points and they were, they were beaten, beaten by, by Fafraha community. So, you see, th this is not something we should believe. I mean, the point on it. On it. So, it, it's a done deal for Aquinas. Presec them made six points and Accra, uh, Christian Medicine made 26 points. Obviously, Aquinas would, would score higher marks and I believe that that's a done deal for but them. But will you be surprised if St. Thomas, Aqu Thomas Aquinas uh, gets beaten? In fact, I don't think I should be su surprised because they know they're, on, they're not going to be beaten. They will beat them. <laughs> No well, well, we 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 live to we live to see. But the second contest also, we are looking at five schools here. We have Ganata Senior High School, Accra Girls Senior High School, Forces Senior High Technical School, Nungwa Senior High School, as well as Ningo Senior High Technical School. Dandil for their girls school. No. No, in fact, they are my favorite my, my favorite girls school, but mm. I don't think they will be able to win this contest. I'd rather tip Ganata Senior High school to win the contest again. Last year they won it by 34 points and obviously it's going to be the same old story this year. Mm -hmm. I don't see Accra Girls, I don't see Forces High Te Technical School, Nungwa Senior High School and Ningo Senior High Technical School. I don't see them um, um, beating Ganata because mm -hmm. Ganata have been somehow consistent. So I expect them to win this particular contest and it's down. But I think there is a new wind blowing. In fact, 2020, uh, we may see some of the girls' schools even doing far better than they did last year. I'll, I'll, I'll be very, very elated to see Accra girls, especially, making, even just qualifying for, this, uh, for the national championship. They can qualify and then just be at the prelims. That's it. I'll be very content if they're able to make it because they've been quite disappointed for me mm -hmm. over the years. Um, um, I remember the last time they were at the national championship. Mm. It will be a very beautiful and wonderful news to have Accra girls making it to the national championship. So if that's if this, in this particular contest, I'd think that if Ganata can't win, Accra girls should win it for me, just uh, for me. Well, we, we, we live to see. The third contest also features some interesting schools over here. We had we, we have sent, I mean, West Africa Senior High School, Ebenezer Senior High School. Community Senior High School as well as Odogono Senior High School. To many, West African Senior High School was disappointing last year. They were. Would they come back to redeem their image? Well, we, we live to see. We live to see, but I don't think I would want, I would be expecting anything um, um, better than um, 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 last year. Mm. Because, I mean, looking at the, the attitude, I wasn't, I didn't see them really really coming out strongly to, to make a statement like they did uh, 20, in 2018 and so i'll not be surprised if they don't if they get beaten and they will have to compete next year at the, at the regional level for for ebenezer it's and, quite some time since they came since the 2004 nationals. and they had a they had a beautiful a beautiful story that that should not be told Absolutely. but i want to believe that they would rewrite that story and then we can we can recap that old story with the, the new one we able to wash that old story away so I want to expect that Beniza Senior High will come out, will come up with some very good uh, performance. Having been there, and then, and, and of course, uh, having studied the terrain all this while, I'm sure that Absolutely. coming back again, they'll do marvelously well. Yeah. For um, Community Senior High School, I uh, I wouldn't expect anything anything better, mm. because last year they made um, 13 points, and I don't think it was good enough. But for for all you know, they have gone back and then uh, re. re, re <coughs> done their homework well and so mm -hmm. something good could come out and they may from, also from want to learn from Fafraha community day school. certainly certainly I, i'm not i would not be surprised if we get another surprise in greater Accra. Mm -hmm. i would not be surprised because you see right uh, uh, at this point in time all the school are really putting a lot of energy into their preparations and so mm -hmm. i would not be surprised in as much as we might write them off i don't think that they can write off completely Absolutely. so yeah. something good could come out from from, from that school so it's odogono senior high uh, senior high school I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll try their best. I'm sure they'll try their best. And it could be between 
or dog on the senior high school, and then perhaps was. Wow. Was? Compa comparing their performance last year at the 1A stage, you, you think uh, they'll be able to sell through to go to the nationals? I, 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 that's what I'm saying. That I can't confidently say that they can. But you can never tell. Mm. That's why the fight will be between Odogono and uh, Was. Absolutely, absolutely. So on March 3, we have another fairly interesting contest over there. We have Asharman Senior High School, Orale Senior High School, Tema Methodist Senior High School, as well as Osudoku Senior High School. I mean, Asharman Senior High School over the years have proved a point. But it's just that the fixtures, the meet, and the nationals really doesn't favor them. Are we likely to see them progress to the preliminary stage of the national science and masters and probably go to the one eighth? I I want to believe so. Um, considering the schools that they are meeting at, uh, at this point, I don't want to believe that O'Reilly Senior High School, Methodist Senior High School, or Sudoku, Sudoku Senior High School would be able to beat Ashaiman. Ashaiman won their contest by 39 points, which was quite That's good. Impressive. So I think that all things being equal, they should be able to beat this, 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 um, the three other schools. But then, one interesting thing that I've, I noticed is that Osudoku, mm. after we, the balloting was uh, conducted, you realize that they are rallying forces to, to, to push their, 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 their school or their contestant to put up a very good performance. And so, if Ashamain should take things for granted, they should they'll be laughing on the wrong side of their mouth. Mm. Mm. Let's look at the fifth contest to. We have another old face over here, Dan Senior High School, Holy Trinity Senior High School, Presec Teshi, Kanishi Senior High Technical School, as well as Amasaman Senior High Technical School. Adan is an old face, <coughs> so let's say, I mean, another done deal for them. Well, interesting, um, this particular contest had um, three of the schools meeting during last year's contest. Absolutely. Adan Senior High School and the uh, Holy Trinity Senior High School and the Kanishi Senior High Technical School. I don't beat them by th uh, 37 points, and they both the other two schools scored 21 points, and so you can safely see that Adan would qualify once again. But for the the other schools, especially Holy Trinity and Connection, having met Adan mm. last year, I am sure they would have gone back and then study study them very well, and therefore would know how to prepare for them because after the balloting, you know who you are competing, and having having that knowledge that you've already met this school before. Once, one, uh, uh, last year, you'd obviously want to prepare yourself and you know what tactics to adopt to be able to beat them. And so, much as we believe that, or I believe that Adan would win this contest, they should be careful. Absolutely. I mean, especially when it has to do with hot cast, that's Holy Trinity and then Kanishi um, um, Technical School. Uh, Presec and um, Amasa Mancina High School, I'm sure they'll try. But I'm not, I'm not sure they were to go through. <laughs> but let, let's see. Maybe a surprise here again. Remember that whilst we are going through all these competitions, we will be looking out for uh, the lesser known schools yeah. beating the so-called creme de la creme schools when it comes to the national science and math grades. The safe contest over here also features Laboni Senior High School, Presby Senior High School, La, Kwabenya Community Senior High School, Olam Senior High School, as well as Temas High School. Tema looks favorite over here, even though over the years they haven't been pulling their weight. Are we going to say they, would, they are likely to win this competition and beat, let's say, the likes of Laboni Senior High School? For, uh, for this particular contest, judging from last year's contest, Tema Senior High School, in fact, they, they prefer to be called Tema Secondary School. They didn't do well. I mean, they scored five yeah. points in their contest and therefore if you want to base the, uh, um, 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 that on last year, well, I don't think they will, they, they will, they will be doing anything better. Mm. But of course, they would have gone back and then tried to rewrite their notes and then make sure they make um, an impression. So for me, Laboni, they've been very consistent. I mean, therefore, I don't expect them to lose this contest. I don't expect them not to qualify from this group. I mean, it's a, it, it's a done deal for them. I don't see much opposition from Presby Senior High School La or Kwabenya Community Senior High School, or Olam. Olam, who, I mean, unfortunately, scored zero, which is, which is not good enough. But I'm sure this time, they're going to make sure they, they're able to get a, a better, better points. So for, for these schools, Laboni is obviously the choice. Absolutely. And we are not done with the Greater Accra region. We have two more left, and we have St. Margaret Senior High 
School, Adan Senior High Technical School, Kimbu Senior High Technical School, and Wesley Grammar School contesting in the uh, on March 4. I mean, St. Margaret Mary Senior High School was a seeded school yes. going into last year's competition. Unfortunately, they, they lost their seed. Are we likely to see them come back to the nationals? Um, I, I don't I don't want to say that we should be we should be seeing them coming back because mm. looking at Kimbu Senior High Technical School and then Wesley Grammar Kimbu for instance last year they 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 got beaten by Ashaiman by four points they made thirty five points Ashaiman made thirty nine points and so if you want to look at their performance last year then you could say that they are really really going to come up with something that we will not we will not be expecting and so. I would say for Wesley Grammar, who made who scored yeah. twenty six points, they are also an, an old guard of the program, and so I can't confidently say that Saint Margaret Mary, because last year they were seeded, they mm. could get the opportunity of going back again. Never be seeded. In fact, if you are not if you if you are not careful, they they can lo they, they will end up losing that completely in in, mm. in that they'll not be able to make it a national championship. So Wesley Grammar and um, Kimbu, I expect them to put up a very good performance and obviously qualify, but. For all you know, Margaret Mary will come up with something different. Absolutely. And the final contest for the Greater Accra region, we have uh, one of the star schools for last year's competition, Fafraha Community Senior High School. They were one of the underdogs that eliminated one of the old faces we have at the National Science and Math Quiz. But unfortunately, they were hoping to make it to the 1A stage as one of the 18 highest scoring losing schools. But unfortunately, they weren't able to make it. Are we likely to see them pull up a surprise just like they did last year? It, it, it would be difficult to say. It would be very difficult to say because last year, yes, they were able to put a surprise. But um, coming back, I mean, now you are you are kind of you've kind of exposed yourself to the other school who will be looking out for you based on what you did, especially being a new entrant during last year's contest. Mm -hmm. And therefore, St. Mary's Senior High School, English young man from who got beaten by Achimota School. You know, it was a very close fight, and then they got beaten by Archibald School. They had an impressive score of 31 points, and then, and then we have Tamama here, Senior High Technical School. So, for me, Fafraha, yes, they made last year, but I am not sure, I can't confidently say that they can sail through again this year. I, 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 I'm looking at English and Manfro, especially, mm. beating them. Right. But St. Mary's, of course, would also, could also pull a surprise. But I'll be extremely happy if Fafraha maintain the, the, the status. But since Mary's Senior High School may have not come to, in fact, they haven't been to the Nationals for quite some time now. I'm sure now they may have dotted their I's and crossed their T's and make sure, and they will make sure that perhaps they will beat all these schools to make it to uh, the National national Science and Math. School. Yes, I, I definitely hope so. One of the uh, challenges or difficult we have with the girls' school is the composure. I mean, they get intimidated I mean, so uh, so soon as soon as they get on stage, and so if they're able to maintain their comp composure, I want to believe that they can pull a surprise or you know, they can beat the other schools. It's all about them maintaining that composure that is expected of them, and therefore delivering, and that that will be it. Someone will be asking: There are some schools missing here, yeah. the likes of Presec Legon, the like of uh, the likes of uh, Achimota School. One may want to ask: Why aren't they part of the not the regional competition? Because um, those schools are all seeded. And when you are seeded, you don't participate at the regional level. Yours is an automatic qualification to participate at the national championship. So for those schools, they are not going to be part of the regional competition. Okay. Those we have balloted for, who we've seen, or who, 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 whom we've discussed here, are the ones who participate at an regional level. And the winners in each contest would qualify to join a seeded school at a national championship. Oh, okay, so that's the reason why we are not seeing all yes. of them. In fact, we've been speaking to some of the teachers in these three regions, and this is what they have to say. For my experience, there is no chip contest in the regional contest of the But if you can see, balloting against uh, Iziama, Matalis, teachers, and sign and pension, do not use our name or think that our name is just true. I hope with experience, having qualified consistently for over seven years, we'll be able to say to and show that still we are a team to it. I believe it's a very interesting contest. It should be keenly contested for because we've met protests several times and we've also shown our strength with them. 
Uh, I think last month we met at DSTS for their uh, centenary anniversary celebration and they were able to beat us. But we realized that we did some simple, simple mistakes. So in fact, it's going to be a killing contest and I believe we have not leaving any, any stone on 10 to make sure that we, we come out successfully and emerge the winners in this contest. So we are going to have the first contest come 3rd March this year and we are meeting Presec also. We are also meeting Presec Tema. We are meeting Christian Methodist and of course we are meeting our brothers from Accra High School. We expect everybody to come and support us and we expect a wonderful contest as Aquinas qualify for the national and win the regional championship this year. Big up to prime time. Viewers, welcome back. Before we wrap up with Samuel Ajo, I would want to find out from you, are we likely to see the SciTech Fair happening at the regionals? And these three regions. Yes, definitely. We'll have the SciTech Fair happening in uh, the Western region. Uh, that, that is Western North and Western region. We'll have one contest, uh, one competition in that region. We'll have the SciTech Fair happening there on 11th of February. Mm -hmm. We have the schools who are registered and uh, with us and uh, we want to exhibit some of the projects that they, they believe that they could want to showcase to, to, to the world. Mm -hmm. And then for Greater Accra, we'll have it on the 4th of March. Um, the 4th of March at Achimota School, that's where that will be the venue for the Greater Accra competition. Whilst the Nats Hall, Takradi, will be the venue for the Western, Western North and the Western Region competition. So, is it only open to senior high schools? I mean, we, well, in as much as it's open to the senior, senior high schools, we also encourage junior high schools to participate at the fair. Last year, we had quite a number of um, schools, JHS schools, participating at the, at, uh, at the, at the uh, Western Regional SciTech Fair. And, and so it's, uh, it's also open to, to them as well because we believe that it's important for, learn for you to learn to catch them young um, and as they go, they end, end up being what you want, to, want them to be. And so much as it's for senior high schools, it's open to the, uh, the, the GHS and then startups as well. Samuel, I'm grateful you could join me for the discussion today. And that is Samuel Ajo. He is with Primetime Limited, organizers of the National Science and Mass Quiz. Viewers, we are grateful you could join us for today's episode. Please do well to join us next time when we bring you another exciting ballot uh, fixtures featuring Upper East Region, Bono, Bono East Region, and Ahafo Region. It promises to be exciting. My name is Emmanuel Giveno, but do well to follow us on our various social media platform on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. We are NSMQ Ghana. And for the latest articles on the National Science and Mass Quiz, please do well to log on to nsmq.com.gh. My name is Emmanuel Giveno, and this is a primetime production. <laughs>